All right, circles and circumference. And there's some definitions on page 697 that you want to get in your notes. Uh, we'll start with a circle. And a circle is a locus or set of points. We'll say that it's a set of points. <coughs> Equidistant. Equidistant means equal distance. A set of points equidistant from a given point called the center. Radius. That's the distance from the center to the circle. Distance from the center to the circle. That's the radius. And then a circle has a diameter. Distance from the center to to the circle. I just wanted to emphasize the word to. Oh, thanks. Diameter. Diameter is a chord. That passes through the center. A cord that passes through the center. And a cord that's a segment with end points. on the circle. So let's draw a picture of these terms. When the center of a circle has a point named point A, okay, here's the symbol for circle. It's a little circle with a dot in the middle. This means circle A. <coughs> And it, ref it refers to this circle over here with center A. 
So if we go from the center to the edge of the circle and make this point B, then AB is a radius. <clears throat> All right, a chord. That goes through the center. CD. All right, a chord. It's got endpoints on the circle and it goes through the center. That's your diameter. and the diameter. The diameter is equal to the radius or let's say this the diameter is equal to two times the radius. D equals 2R. The radius is equal to one half times the diameter. All right, so R equals diameter divided by two. All right, back to a, the definition of a chord is a segment with endpoints on the circle. If you connect C to B, this is called a chord. C to B is a chord. C to D is also a chord. If we add another segment down here in the bottom, and the segment has endpoints on the circle. Call it EF. EF is also a chord. Any segment that has endpoints on the circle is called a chord. Okay? Any questions on any of those definitions? Should be review, right? Kind of heard about it before. Maybe everything except for a chord. All right, good. Radius and diameter relationships, we've talked about that. So take a look at example two on page 698. Example two on the top of page 698. You're given a circle. And a diameter and a radius. TQU and V. The question says if QV equals 8, what is the diameter? That's your question. If Q to V is 8, so this piece right here is 8, that's a radius. If Q to V is 8, how far is it from T to U? T to U equals 16, good. Twice the radius. Another question, if T to U equals 20, What is QV equal to? 
If t to u is 20, then q to v equals 10. Tough stuff right here, isn't it? Uh, there's a definition, one more definition there on page 698, concentric circles. Okay. Concentric circles are coplanar and have the same center. Are coplanar. Anybody remember what coplanar means? Good, in the same plane. Concentric circles are coplanar and have the same center. Boy, this pen is lagging. Have the same center. So something like, oh, that's pretty good right there, i got to tell you. Concentric circles. They have the same center, all right? It's just a circle inside of another circle. Got it? Let's look at the top of page 699. Top of 699. Find measures in intersecting circles. So it looks like we got a little circle. And then that little circle, let's see, can I do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm good. Intersects with a bigger circle. And then you've got some... Uh, dimensions in here or some keep going straight keeps going straight to there we got this picture right here and then we got R C D S so point R point C point D and point S and the diameter of S is 30. So diameter of S equals 30. Diameter of R is 20. Diameter of R equals 20. D to S is 9. D to S equals 9. Find C to D. Find C to D. Okay, so diameter of S is 30. Diameter of R is 20. Okay, so if the diameter of circle R is 20, see it? Diameter of circle R, it's the small circle. If the diameter of this circle is 20, how far is it from R to D? R to D, right here. If the diameter of that circle is 20, how far is it from R to D? It's 10, right? Because that would represent the radius. If the diameter of S is 30, Okay, that means that this, all of this right here, is 30. How far would it be from S to C? That radius, what would that be? It'd be 15, would it? From here to here. That would be 15. So the question is, how far is it? Let's see, D to S is 9. This little piece is 9. D to S is 9. Find C to D. You see it? 
you're looking for this piece right here from C to D. This cursor is acting up this morning. C to D. You're looking for that piece. All right, look, if it's 9 from here to here, right? And it's 15 from S to R, then how far is it from D to C? Very good. Six, right? What you've basically got, they've taken some circles and they've tried to mess with your eyes a little bit. You've got this picture. You've got a segment. All right, you've got... You've got C right here. You've got D right here. And you've got this being S. This is pulling that segment out of the picture. And you're told that D to S is 9. And you weren't told it directly, but you're told that S to C, which is a radius, is half of this diameter. So S to C is 15. And you were asked to find how far it is from C to D. It's the segment addition postulate. X plus 9 has to equal 15. So if you did that, a lot of you did it in your head. You subtract 9 from the 15, then your X was your X was equal to 6, which was C D. Okay? Any questions? All right, your assignment for today is on page 701. Do it on a clean sheet of paper, please. Page 701, problems 1 through 6. And then 18 through 21. 18 through 21. Page 701, 1 through 6, and 18 through 21.